guys. Carl built two driving eight C800, uh, two 2290s driving eight standard 2879s. This is a, a lightly used amp, still has a Carl seal in there. And I uh, was selling this one for a friend of mine and another a good customer friend hit me up looking for an amp. Told him I had this one for a good deal. It does have sideband. Um, and uh, anyway, we struck a deal up on it. So he will be uh, getting this one. going to test it, check it out here, make sure everything's good with it before it ships out. Running it on 15 volts off the uh, big power supply, the uh, 600 amper out here. And just driving it with our little Cobra 21 GTL that we use out here a lot of times. So I'll show you what it's doing. This meter out here, guys, is one of the new 43Ps, newer 43Ps. So it does read a little stingy sometimes. Let's see if we can zoom in here. This is just the radio, and we've got a 25-watt slug in there, top scale. Uh, PEP audio, audio. Audio. So not even 25 watts PEP. So we're not going to be hitting this thing hard at all. Uh, average power. Hello. Audio. Top scale, guys. Hello. Audio. Gosh, this meter's tight. So hello, audio. One, two. Not even five watts average. So keep that in mind. Uh, really, we could hit it with like 10 watts average, you know, 35, 40 PEP, and it's not going to hurt it, but... I think we'll still see some pretty good numbers out of it. Uh, just to keep things uh, easy to keep up with, still going to be using the uh, top scale, 2,500 watts. So first thing we'll do, we're going to turn the amp on. And the very first thing we'll do is start out with a very low dead key. That way we don't overdrive it. So we're going to start out with our dead key on the radio, turn it all the way down. It's going to ease it up until we get to a decent carrier. Top scale. Squeal in there. Probably because we don't have enough dead key. Let's see. There we go. Let's go about 250, 300. Oh, going to about 600 average. Again, we're only putting five watts average into it, so we're seeing six, 600 average out. That's not too bad. And 20 to 25 watts PEP going in, top scale. Hello, audio, 1500 or so. Audio, one, two, three. Audio, one, two, three. Audio. So 20, 25 in, uh, 1500 PEP out. That's pretty damn good, honestly. Uh, if I had my little unit in out here, it'd probably drive it on up to 16, 1700, maybe even 1800 watts PEP. Sideband works on it. You can hear the delay in it there. So it's a nice running amp. I mean, it runs like new, honestly. Um, five watts average in, 600 watts average out. You know, they're about. And then uh, 20 to 25 watts PEP in, 1500 out. It should Cadillac all day long like this. I mean, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be ashamed of that at all. Now, you put max drive into it, what you'll end up seeing, if you put like 10 watts average in, it's probably going to come on up to, you know, 750 to 850 average. If you put 35 to 40 watts PEP in, it's going to come up to, you know, 1700, maybe 1800 watts PEP. About, in my opinion, guys, on these, about 1800 watts is about the, about the, about the max uh, reasonable output. Uh, some people drive them to 2KW, but I don't really recommend it myself. 800 watts average, 1800 PEP. That's uh that's really plenty for one of these. So there you guys go. Uh C eight hundred, uh two driving eight Carl built. If anybody's interested in one of these, of course I can get you one ordered. I uh, have a very large order in with Carl right now and probably gonna be adding some stuff to it. So if you like what you see, you're interested in one of these, let me know. Carl built C eight hundred. Uh running on our uh, big purple six hundred amp power supply down there. All right, guys, thanks. Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. See you, bye.